Hi there, Pisces. This is Jeffrey. This is Ripe Color. And this is your weekly reading for the week of October 3rd through the 10th. The first full week in October. Happy October. Uh, the October readings are up, by the way. Um, okay. Please like, subscribe, share, comment, press the bell for notifications. I offer um, personal readings uh, in, over Zoom or telephone or in person. I'm in Midtown Manhattan. I have a lovely line of, of um, textiles, all available on my website, ripecolor.com. I also offer um, IET, which is in, uh, stands for Integrated Energy Therapy. And um, it helps you to move energy. It helps you to move energy. The angels do it. I'm just the, uh, I'm just the MC. <clears throat> so if you're interested, uh, the information is below. Let's see what's going on for you for the week of October 3rd through the 10th. Okay, away we go. The Knight of Pentacles in our favorite position, if you watch me regularly, this card shows up in this position very often, the Hanged Man, <clears throat> excuse me, I really should get water, uh, the Hanged Man, and then the Nine of um, Pentacles. So what do I have to give up in order, I'm working really hard, and, but what is it that I have to let go of or give up in order to attain what it is I want to attain? Because this is all about attainment. She's about gain, she's about wealth, she's about luxury, she's um, entrepreneurial, she's intuitive. Uh, she worked really hard to get here. He's a hard worker and you know he's willing to put in the work and then, you know, you really want to get here. And how do you get there? So this and this card is really about self-sacrifice. So what is it that I have to give up? Is it an attitude? Is it, um, I don't know, a person? Is it uh, a way of looking at things? A lot of times uh, the hanged man is really like a new perspective, right? He's upside down. It's a pause. It's like... Um, a reflection, a um, sort of an inventory taking in a way. Yeah, because I want to manifest what I, you know, I, I want to bring it in. I want to bring it in. And, you know, abundance isn't necessarily about wealth. It could be about um, having loving, a lot of loving relationships in your life. Could be about, um, I don't know living in the right house or in the right place for you. Um, you know, cause some people would be very happy in a very small house, but it has to be in the mountains or like that. Or some people like they want to live in the city so um, much that they're willing to settle for like a really small place, maybe not the best place in the city in order so that they're there. You know, abundance is different for different people. It's, it's okay. Perseverance. So this is the card of victory. <clears throat> and I feel like, so the way I understand this card, so this is the card of victory, right? He's on the horse. He's a general. He won the battle or the war. And then he comes back with all the spoils. And, you know, he's like the, the king for the day. And, uh, well, he might be the king tomorrow. You know, it goes with generals. Um but the thing that I always, that always strikes me about this card is that he's also, this is about public recognition, but he would only, he's only recognized by the public because of his works, right? So I always feel like 
this is uh, the community holding you up. There's an, ener there's an energy of like the community holding you up, you know, supporting you. You get good cards, man. This is like, these are good, powerful cards. First of all, hearing the calling. This is about organization. This is about institutions. It's about tradition. So anything like uh, government, religion, uh, any institution, right, that's very traditional would fit into this card. Um, law, the government, religion, uh, any government institution, any corporation, but it could also be family, it could also be marriage, it, you know, any institution. The thing that the, the hierarchy, the hierophant is about hierarchy. It's about um, organization, like a, a really stable, um, established organization. Okay, because uh, I'm getting, so it's like, is that what you have to give up? It, maybe you have to give up this, uh, well, I don't want to be organized, right? Uh, you know, I don't want to fit in. Maybe you have to give that up. Or maybe, um, you need to reorganize, right? And give up your, your current organization, um, not necessarily the uh, organization itself, but the way it's organized. You know, it could be the organization itself, but it, it could also be the way it's organized. It's like, oh, actually, we're going to put this person in charge, or this is my priority now, as opposed to, you know, now A is the now B is the priority, as opposed to A. I'm going to let A take second. You know, could be something like that. So that that what that's what this could be. You know, because this is a willing self-sacrifice, or maybe you're in charge, right? Maybe this is your business and you're in charge and you're realizing like there's a lot going on and I want to manifest more in order to manifest more. Perhaps I need to bring in other people and dole out some of the work and I won't be in charge of the everyday operation, but I'll still do this part or that part, because that's the part that I love, or that's the part that I enjoy, or I'm best at, or that's the part that will cost the most money, and I'll save the most money if I do it. So that's what the sacrifice could be about. You have the high ground, be confident. Don't get lost in, uh, I have to have this, uh, I have to have it now. I'll do anything for it. <laughs> do a lot for it, but not anything. Mm. Wow. Wow. I, I have one, two, three, four, five majors. There's, there's a big story going on here. So think wisely, you know, think wisely. And, you know, you're Pisces. So your intuition is going to come through and your intuition comes through here. This is also an intuitive card. I feel like his third eye has always opened up this one. Because he's getting, see, the thing about the Hierophant is that he organizes on, it's, it's as above, so below. He organizes things in the material plane um, that mimic the way things are organized in the higher planes. That's what's going on. So that's the information that he gets and that's what he uh, gives out. Uh, I also, I always feel like this is an illuminated card, right? Messages from spirit, what's fair, what's balanced, what works. I think you're going to, you know, with all these other really powerful cards, I think the devil is just a temptation. I, th I think that's all it is. I think that's all it is. I think it's just a temptation, but I think you're going to know it and you're not going to, because I have all really good 
positive, uplifting um, cards, and only the devil is the only kind of weird one. You know, this one can be a little bit weird, but seven is confidence, and he has the high ground. I mean, it's about defensiveness, which is fine. You know, okay, so sometimes you're defensive. Sometimes I'm defensive. Sometimes, you know, it's appropriate to be defensive. He has the high ground, so he's fine. You know, he'll, you know, it, you know, there might be a lot coming at him, but he'll do one at a time and it'll be fine. Um, that's the only card that's really sort of, I don't know, dark in a way. You know, this could be a dark card, but they very rarely read it like that. Yeah, in order to get here, right, Lady of Luxury, it's a great card. It's a great card. Uh, there's something that you're going to have to let go of. You can't, you can't do everything, right? But that maybe that's what the devil's about, right? The devil. So I was having a conversation with somebody, and uh, many years ago, not that many years ago, many years ago. I had a t-shirt business and uh, I hand dyed. That's when I really got deep into dyeing. So I hand dyed t-shirts and I would put an image on them. It was all like spiritual, mystical, blah, blah, blah. And I, I was pretty successful for a while. I was selling a lot of stores, but I made all the t-shirts. I, I made all the labels. I sewed on all the labels. I did all the sales. I collected all the money. I did all the shipping. I did all the designing. I, I, so, you know, I was wearing a, a lot of hats. I did the market. I did everything. And it, I mean, it, it faded away. And, and what a blessing because I was completely obsessed. That was my whole life. That's all I talked about. That's all I was interested in. That's all, that was my whole life. Like I didn't really have, it's like my social life suffered, my, my every other kind of life suffered, honestly. Um, so, you know, if you're entrepreneurial, speaking from experience, you have to dole out some work. You just can't do everything. You just can't. Um, and that there's a period at the end of that sentence. So I hope that was helpful. And um, it's a very powerful reading. It's very, whatever this is that you're working on it is it really empowers you individually. Um, to, I, I think there's a lot to, um, be gained and a lot of nourishment, not just uh, financial, but spiritual. Very powerful. Blessings to you.